Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Lily. I go by Lily Reads It. Um, you can find me mostly on TikTok and Instagram. I will link those links down below if this reading resonates with you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, I am new on the platform for YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy these readings. I'm doing a reading for Fire Signs, Aries Leo Sag, for the week of February 6th through the 12th. What we're going to do is a quick energy check-in for each sign and then a collective of what's coming in for love for February 6th through the 12th. Keep in mind, this is not a singles read. This is for someone that you may have in mind that you may be dealing with. Even if it's complicated, no communication, this is for you. Um, I will do a singles read sometime this week. So look out for that as well. But right now, these are for someone that has someone on their mind, a person of interest, and also just a regular energy check-in for your energy for the week, okay? All right, so let's start with Aries energy check-in. Spirit, please show me Aries energy for February 6th through the 12th. Aries, perfect. Leo, Leo, thank you. Wow. And Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. There we go. Took a minute for you, Sag. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag, perfect. All right, Aries, so you have material... And spiritual prosperity. So things are coming in for you, Aries, okay? Everything that you've been working hard for is coming to fruition, okay? That's really good. So you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor this week. If not, that means it's coming in very soon. So keep in mind, time is very fluent. This could be already happening now or it's coming in for you. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Leo, passion ignited, a brand new beginning in something, okay? Leo, I feel like you're stepping into your passion. Keep in mind, too, the moon is in Leo at this time. So we have a full moon tonight, and it's in Leo. So, Leo, this is your chance to, to start manifesting whatever it is, um, whatever you have a passion for. Spirit is saying to go for it, okay? Passion is being ignited. I love that. Number one, too, is for brand new beginnings. So you may be some, starting a new project that you are really enjoying, Okay. And Sagittarius, you have heartache and loss. So Sag, you could be dealing with something um, emotionally. Okay. You could be grieving. You could be dealing with a breakup. Okay. Take it how it resonates. This week, you will be focusing more on your healing and dealing with a lot of self, which is totally fine. Um, one thing I always say when dealing with heartache and loss is to deal with the emotions. Do not hide it. Do not... Try to throw it under the carpet, okay, under the surface, because it's just going to come back up. So focusing on this heartache and loss, doing the shadow work, dealing with the emotions, and moving forward, okay? All right. Let's see what's coming in for love for February 6th for the 12th for my fire sign. Let's see. Spirit got Please show me what is coming in for my fire signs for the week of February 6th through the 12th. For Aries Leo Sag, what is coming in for those that have someone in mind, the person that they are dealing with? What is going on for this week, February 6th to the 12th? One more. All right, let's see. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Some of you guys may have withdrawn your energy from someone. Death card in reverse. I don't read reversals, but we're going to see what that's talking about. <laughs> okay, some of you guys had, wow, an ending with someone, definitely, especially with the Five of Pentacles and the Death card, okay? Someone may have withdrawn their energy from you. You could have pulled away, maybe little to no communication at this time, fire signs. Um, I'm getting to, some of you guys may have blocked this person, okay? Um, I am getting that someone is watching you, though. With the Page of Swords here, someone is definitely stalking you, watching you, um, even if they're blocked, Okay. Uh, stalking too doesn't have to mean stalking your social media. It can mean literally stalking your energy. You can literally feel this person's energy. Could be a Leo. I have Leo here, Scorpio. February 6th to the 12th. Two more for my fire signs. One more. <laughs> so um okay so i'm definitely seeing a reconciliation here okay um 
I feel like you or both of you have been really thinking about this situation. Okay, communication is coming in, especially with the Three of Cups here. I do see a reconciliation. Okay, I do see you guys reconnecting. Um, whoever this person is, fire signs, they have a lot of emotion for you because I have the King of Cups here. So they really love you a lot. Okay, um, could be an Aquarius. I have Aquarius here. I have Leo. Could be a water sign, Scorpio. But I am seeing you guys reunite, okay, with the star and the four of wands. I am seeing you reunite. Spirit, what is this person's first uh, future actions towards them this week, February 6th to the 12th? Okay, still resting. Some of you guys could be dealing with the earth sign because earth signs got almost this exact same read and I definitely shuffled. What is this person's future actions towards my fire signs? What is this person's future actions? Mm. Very protective energy. Whoever this person is, fire signs, they don't really know how to like express their feelings. Okay. So a lot of times it seems like they're very, um, uh, it can seem like they're very defensive, combative. Like, why do you always want to argue with me? Why do you always want to be right? That's the energy I'm getting here. Like, why do you always have to be right? Why can't you just realize you're wrong? Okay, this is not a cross watch, just read, obviously, so don't don't at me. <laughs> but why can't you just admit your wrongs? Why you always got to be in competition? Why you always want to fight? Okay, so this person is thinking of a plan on how to reach out to you, though, but they're very guarded. So I feel like even when they reach out, it's like not what you're expecting. You're like, okay, you're reaching out. Yes, you're making the first move, but you're still acting like, like very protective of your energy when I'm not in the wrong, you were, right? Um, I'm definitely seeing this could be a soulmate for yours with the two of cups here. Okay. It could be a soulmate energy. Definitely could be a soulmate. Spirit, one more. Because right now I'm just seeing, I'm not seeing this person actually make any actions this week. I'm seeing them kind of think about it. Yeah. I feel like they're afraid to kind of come up to you too because they feel like they know too many. But let me see. Yeah, they know that they have to come correct. They know they have to come correct, especially with you and this Queen of Swords energy. They know that you're not going to allow um, anything other than correct, proper apology. Okay, so they know this. Okay, so they're, they've are they been thinking about this. It's been on their mind mentally. Okay, when you're thinking about them, they're thinking about you. So give this person some time because they're still in this Four of Swords energy. Okay, I don't really see any movement this week. For some of you guys, it doesn't have to be, though. Some may reach out. One more spirit. Yeah. Spirit, what does this person want from fire signs? Let me see. What do they actually want from them, though? They're unsure. This person likes a lot of attention. This person likes a lot of attention. It's like they like you. Okay. They want to offer you something, but their past kind of keeps them behind. Okay. Keep that in mind. So they do want to offer you something stable. Okay. They do. They do. But if they're still healing from past hurt, okay? And this person likes attention. So when they like attention, even though they really want you, they love attention from others is what I'm seeing here. So fire signs, you may have to give this person time to fully heal. They may not be fully ready for you the way that you are ready for them. They do like you. They do want to offer you something, but I'm just seeing someone that needs to heal. Okay, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, make sure that this person's doing the work, especially if you're looking for something long term. Make sure they're putting in the work before you put in the work. Make sure they're showing you the effort before you put in the effort. Okay, um, I hope that resonates with you. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. Please come back and let me know how your week went and have a good one. Bye.